Kevin coming at you today with your NCLEX review question. So our question today is one of the lovely SATA questions that you will find on the NCLEX or a select all that apply. Um, so just like always, we'll go through the question, pick out our keywords, kind of brainstorm what we think the answers might be, and then go through the answer options. So our question today the nurse is assessing a patient who is experiencing an acute episode of cholecystitis. Which of the following clinical manifestations support this diagnosis? Select all that apply. Okay, so what are our keywords? So we have cholecystitis and clinical manifestations. So before we move on to the answer options, as always, let's kind of brainstorm. What do we, knew, what do we know about cholecystitis? and the clinical manifestations that we're gonna find with cholecystitis um, or inflammation or infection of the gallbladder. So we know the gallbladder is located in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen. Um, so we might have some right upper quadrant abdominal pain. We also know that with any gallbladder illness or disease or infection, we're going to have the pain that is worsened with the ingestion of foods, specifically fatty foods or processed foods. We also know that there is inflammation or infection there. So we may be experiencing a fever. There is upset in the GI tract, obviously. So the patient uh, with cholecystitis may be experiencing nausea, vomiting, heartburn. So we have all these things kind of going through our head. Everything that we know about inflammation of the gallbladder and cholecystitis prior to moving on to our answer options. So select all that apply. One, fever. Well, we know that with any inflammation or infection, the patient may experience a fever, so yes. Two, positive Cullen's sign. So a Cullen sign we know is associated with a diagnosis of pancreatitis. So it is like some bruising or ecchymosis around uh, the belly button area that's usually associated with hemorrhagic pancreatitis. So we can rule that out because it is not associated with cholecystitis, but with pancreatitis instead. Three, complaints of indigestion. Yes, we know that cholecystitis can cause nausea, vomiting, heartburn, indigestion. Uh, four, a palpable mass in the left upper quadrant. So we know that the gallbladder and, and all of these symptoms will be located in the right upper quadrant. So anything that's not in the right upper quadrant is going to be the wrong abdominal location. So we can rule out four. Five, pain in the right upper quadrant after a fatty meal. Ding, ding. We know that uh, fatty or processed foods uh, further inflame the gallbladder. And then six, lower right quadrant abdominal discomfort. Again, very similar to four, this is the wrong location in the abdomen. So going through, we know a patient with cholecystitis will present with the clinical manifestations of one fever, three complaints of indigestion, and five pain in the right upper quadrant after a fatty meal.